G'day everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing these LF40 2450KV motors. They've been generously provided by T-Motor for me to review. Uh, they're a 2305 size stator. I'm not going to say too much more about them at the moment. I'm going to trim the wires, get them installed on a quad, take them for a fly. I'll share a few more specs and give my thoughts on them as well. Let's check them out. The weather's not great outside, so I'll do this from inside the car. But the props I'm using are the new HQ 5.1 by 3.1 by 3. They're a little bit lighter load than some of the other race props, so they should be suited well for these motors. Let's see how it goes if we load it up with a heavier battery, heavier props, and a GoPro. I haven't looked at the footage yet, but man, these motors performed just fine. Um, they're lacking some of the top end power of the higher KV motors that I had on before with the larger stator, but they've got so much control and the throttle resolution, even with them um, fairly loaded up with these props and the extra weight, means that the quad fly is fantastic. Um, maybe for absolute top end racing, they don't have enough of the um, top speed, but really I don't think these are marketed for the highest end racing guys and you can see from the footage i assume that they're plenty fast the quad gets up and moves uh, just fine and they're able to take these heavier props which is really surprising all right let's have a look at the construction of these motors uh, first off they've got a fairly unique looking visual style sort of a clover leaf uh, on the top there and a different type of um, grip pattern um, it seems like a lot of the design choices for these motors have been around weight saving so they have an open bottom design, uh, as is pretty common with modern motors. Uh, they've got this fluted bell, uh, which is supposed to assist with cooling and maintain strength. They're using what looks like an aluminium over steel shaft, which I'll show you now by removing the bell from the stator. So you can see uh, it looks like a three millimeter, uh, quite a thin um, steel shaft down the middle with aluminium on the top and some smaller size bearings over the uh, F40 Pro 2 uh, type motors. Uh, other things to note are 
T-Motor have gone for a single strand winding here. Some nice arc magnets in there and just generally uh, high quality construction as you'd expect from T-Motor. So who do I think these motors are for? Well, if you're getting on the 6S train, they're not for you. Uh, they're slightly high KV and they're only rated from 2 to 4S. Uh, if you're after huge amounts of power, um, you want to be hitting max speeds on a race course or if you want to be doing um, Matty Stunt style uh, freestyle, uh, they're probably not going to be for you either. But I'd say for the vast majority of pilots um, that may be carrying more weight and more uh, power than they need to, you should actually consider lighter weight builds. One of the advantages of a lightweight build is when you have a crash, you know, you have less momentum and therefore you have less energy to dissipate through the frame, through the motors and everything that's smashing into the object. And the other audience these are for are for people looking to get the uh, team motor sort of high quality construction and reputation, but don't want to spend the full amount of money on their uh, top end offerings like the F40 Pro 2s. So I don't know what else there is to say. I mean, the footage will speak for itself, but these seem to be great motors. I uh, didn't really run out of throttle at all. Was thinking that they'd be more of a, a niche setup, that they'd be for really super lightweight quads and you get performance out of them that way, but they seem to handle a wide range of props and quad weights. So yeah, can recommend them. They come in at a good price point. Um, they seem to be efficient and still powerful. Yeah, so if you like them, have a look. Thanks, T-Motor, for sending them to me to review. I think I'll be using them on one of my freestyle quads.